Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Just so you know, I found you because of a, <laughs> something you did on YouTube. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm making, uh, we're building a, a custom home and I've got this custom door and um, I've got sources to build this special handle and uh, just trying to figure out what hard, I hope you can source some door lock hardware for me for this. A deadbolt? Well, the deadbolt's easy enough. It's the latch that I'm uh, puzzling over. Uh, as you can see in that little, uh, you can see that uh, drawing I, I sent? I see the CAD drawing, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, in the detail at the bottom, it shows um, what I'd like to have for releasing the latch is to have a concealed something behind that tall uh, bar, and I wonder if that's possible. I don't want to see a doorknob on the outside. Um, I've never seen anything like that. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so what would you recommend in this application? How would I release the latch? There is no latch on this door. It's just a deadbolt. Um, if you look in the side view, it shows six inches below. I mean, I haven't put the latch in yet because I, I didn't figure out how to design it. But I'd like, I need to have a latch. Um, well, what a lot of people do is they use a roller latch. Um, you know, one or two, depending on the weight of the door, just a roller latch. Is that sufficient for an exterior door? It is in all the instances prior that I've sold it in. It's. I see. You know, okay. Yeah, you know, okay. a lot of people have done it. Okay. Um, yeah, neat concept. I've never uh, very neat concept. I I've, I've never seen it um at all. So okay. I wouldn't know I wouldn't know where to source that there may be somebody who makes that uh sort of trigger release. Well, yeah, well, I I don't <laughs> I don't have to reinvent the wheel here. If you think a roller latch will suffice, uh my filters uh, I don't know. They, he said something about a ball catch, but but uh, what you have is 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 a roller latch. So if I had two of those, you think that would suffice? Yeah. So a ball catch is just the smaller version of a roller latch. Yeah, um, smaller. That's all it is. And yeah, depending yeah. on the weight of the door, um, three zero by seven six seven seven. Yeah. I mean, I would mm -hmm. I would put one, um, and then I would add a second if if it became necessary. Um, the issue with, with roller lat, you know, this concept, center hung pivots, mm -hmm. ladder poles, deadbolt, roller latch. This concept is nice. It ha it's faddish and it's happening now and it has been for a couple of years. What I don't like about it is the roller latch's ability to hold the door tight against the gasketing. Um, I, I think see. it's suspect in that regard. Um, so, um, you know, you might you might simply want uh, um, a uh, deadbolt, but a deadbolt that doesn't have a bolt. It's a latch. Schlage makes a slam latch. It's a deadbolt, but it's a latch bolt. It's a deadlocking latch bolt. Oh. The disadvantage of that is you'll have to retract the thumb turn every time you want to leave. Um, you know, rotate the thumb turn. Um, I don't think that's that big a deal because in a normal door, there's a knob. You have to turn the knob to get out. So uh, Yeah, well, you, what, what you get in this is you get the ability to have the door secured. You get the mm -hmm. door in a – you get the latch in a strike plate so that you, you know, you have, you know, some pressure against the gasketing that will probably be in a curved in, you know, wood frame is probably what will be done, I'd imagine. Um, okay. And it's elegant. Well, you know, I, it's one less piece of hardware. I, I love that idea, and uh, you know I, I'm happy to buy it from you if, if you want to send me the information. Uh, how, how do we proceed here? Um, yes, um, I can take the order. I can send you a cut sheet and then take the order. Um, however, you'd like to step through it. It's um, I, uh, I, DC stuff. Uh, okay, uh, if, uh, if you don't mind. Um, um, Sam, I just want to make sure I understand. I think I, I think I understand. I want to make sure it'll work and talk to the guy that's actually making my door. And mm -hmm. uh, but I like that idea what you're doing. So um, do you want to send me a quote for it, or how, how do we do it? How much is this yeah. thing anyway? 
I'll, I'll pull it up. Um, okay. uh, $175. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> in the scope of this house I'm building. Uh, so, um, and then, oh, the next thing, and this is more of a detail, but on this door pole, I'm having a, it's going to be a, like a, a very dark, almost a black, dark finish. So the hardware around, you know, where I put the key in, there has to be something there. And is there a way to match that finish? These can be, um, I'm quite sure these can be done in black. Um, black yeah. Is a, Black is Hot the, color, uh, another popular finish now, currently. Um, although yeah. 100 years ago, it was as common as anything else. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So the B2, let's see how they have that listed in terms of finish. Uh, yeah, they they definitely listed available in black. So, so this thing, this latch with this, uh, with the deadbolt incorporated, if if you're going in and out, oh, let me think. If you're just going in and out of the house, like say so you, you walk out the front door uh, and you close the door behind you, you st you're going to need a key to get back in, aren't you? You will, yeah. Um, every time, every time, yeah. Yeah, so this deadbolt also features a latch hold back in the thumb turn so that if you're bringing oh. groceries in and out, you could hold that retracted until such a point that you oh, can good. it. Okay, see, this is why I'm talking to a professional. <laughs> Okay, I, I think that can work. I really do. Yeah. Uh, the advantage of the system is that you can simply pull the door closed and it's locked. You don't have to put a key in and rotate it. And then every time yeah. you push the door closed, it's, you know, it's secured. Um, so having said that, um, there but are... Uh, you know, there's variations on this theme. One manufacturer has a mortise lock that incorporates a roller latch into the edge um, so that you could keep the door in a closed position um, so that it is at least engaging the frame so that the cat can't walk out behind you. Um, mm -hmm. So the advantage of incorporating a roller latch allows you to pull the door closed and it will stay there even though it's not secured. Mm -hmm until you secure mm -hmm. it. Um, so, you know, when, when you see this cut sheet, I would suggest that in your mind's eye, you go through the steps and make sure that this functionality okay. works for you. Um, okay. Because it, it thing, may, may not, or it may. The other thing I'd want is I want it to be visible. If you're standing on the inside of the door and you don't know whether you've locked it or not, uh, would, would that, is there a visible signal for that? Well, there is, and the visible signal is it's always locked unless you can clearly see that you have intentionally held re, used the holdback feature, which is obvious. So, but if, that would be obvious because it's oh, yeah. in a different position. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so I, I, uh, yeah, so sometimes, like the way my dad taught me, if you want to know if the deadbolt is, you know, in the locked position, which way is the thumb turned? pointed towards, towards the lock I jam see. or away. And um, that's see. an easy way to just, you know, say to yourself, oh, I can see from 10 feet away that that door is locked. So this would be okay. true as well. Okay. It may not be yeah. as elegant as a occupancy indicator, but. Um, no, that, you know, that's you know. fine. I just, I, I just wouldn't want it to be that you're standing there looking at the door and you think it's locked, but it isn't. Oh, no. Yeah. Once you, once you know what that looks like, you'll you'll always know whether or not it's locked. Okay. And okay. as long as the door's okay. in the closed position, yeah, it's locked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, I I think this can all work, and um, uh, I'd love to take a look at this what you have, and um, if it's right, I'll get this order going. So I also have. Oh, I didn't tell you something very important here. <laughs> There's left and right doors, and I only showed you the right door. But the left the door, door is, say again, it, yeah, the, 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 left, the left door will look the same, but it's, it's going to have pins at the top and bottom that secure it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, flush bolts or, so that, or however you're going to do that. Yeah, uh, whatever you call those. What do you call those that go up, bolts that go up and down? Probably I'd call them flush bolts. Flush bolts. So we'd have uh, on, on the door at the left, there'd be flush bolts, but the door at the right is the active door. Um, mm -hmm. But when you stand there looking at them, they'll be the same, except there'll be no place for a key on the other one. Yeah. Right. There'll just be a strike plate that'll be mortised to the edge of the inactive yeah. door. Okay. 
okay, this is great. <laughs> I've been worrying over this for weeks. <laughs> okay. Um, how thick is the door? Uh, two and three quarters. The door is two oh, and three quarter thick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't call that out. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's no problem. And yeah. Okay. This is great. Appreciate your help. No, no problem, sir. I'll send you over a quote shortly. Thank you very much. And your name again? I'm sorry. My name is Richard. Thanks so much, Richard. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.